Peace and good evening. Thank you for stepping into the file playland. As always, I'm your file player. I wanted to make this short video regarding the Carvalho versus Shakur Stevenson fight that just took way took place on uh, ESPN, hosted by Top Rank. Um, as far as the fight goes, I didn't get to watch uh, the rest of the card because I was actually driving from Florida and I just checked into my hotel in uh, Fayetteville. North Carolina. Um, I checked in right on time to watch the last fight, which was the main event. Um, good work from uh, Shakur Stevenson, even though Caraballo is a no-name out of Puerto Rico. Um, you know, I didn't expect uh, Stevenson to fight a big name right out of the gate. This is the first event um, in the aftermath of the COVID-19 um, pandemic and uh, you know I give props to Stevenson and for top rank in a way for uh, hosting the first of these events for boxing um, I think a lot of other promoters are going to look and see what um, took to make this event and um, you know you give props to the ones who break the seal in terms of um getting things in the way for boxing um as far as like the fight of course stevenson did good work he just wanted to get rounds in it seemed and he was working um carvalho's body more i hope i'm saying carvalho's name right if that's even his name um and he got him out of there in the sixth round if i remember correctly um so it was good for him to just get that work under his belt and uh it seemed like he was trying to squeeze more rounds out of um, his opposition and he did so uh, kudos to him just for getting the win um, you know I've seen a lot of people online that were critical of um, the uh, opposition that uh, Shakur Stevenson and his team selected for this fight but I don't really blame them for uh, picking a lower tier guy like that because Shakur Stevenson is only 23 and um you know, being the first one out of the rip like that, like to host an event or to be the main event in the first event hosted in the po out of um, post-COVID ever, I guess, you know, I didn't expect much. I want to see what these other uh, more known boxers do, you know, a month from now or two months from now, you know, I want to see if they try to use the excuse of... Um, not having uh, or having their first fights after this pandemic and uh, I predict that you're going to see a lot of bum bashes and a lot of bum opposition being selected um, after this COVID-19 thing but uh, props to Shakur Stevenson I like Shakur Stevenson a lot um, and uh, I hope that a lot of these other promoters um get to see what the pitfalls were of this event. I know that some of the people that were supposed to be fighting in the undercards, I think, um, had COVID-19 in some of their corners. I think somebody actually in Shakur Stevenson's corner ended up um, having coronavirus. So, you know, we'll see what the, if these other promoters like go by this framework that uh, Top Rank just uh, utilized in ESPN. But um, I'm glad the sport got in the way. And with that, I'm out. Going to try to go to sleep. Thank you for stepping into the file playland once again. And y'all be safe out there. Peace.